Welcome to the first tutorial in presenting your sketch pad. Now with any research it's really important before you do start is you get the materials you're going to need. So first of all I've chosen for this project some green and some orange paper that sort of pick out this artist's work over here. I've also then chopped out all of my images either using a pair of scissors or a guillotine and on this first example here I have just added this border. Now when you're adding borders you don't want anything too thick so I normally recommend about two to three bill. Up at the top over here I've also looked at ways of making my project more interactive so I'll show you how to make one of these later it just opens it up. So when you're first laying out your images you sort of present and look at your layout and arrange it to a composition that looks interesting. If it's just all placed and mushed around, it's not the same kind of appeal. So I'm going to go for quite a geometric layout here, quite straight, quite linear. I'm going to stick that one at the top up there. And again, just on the side, and stick that down. Make sure if your edges are straight and you want it to be straight, make sure your edges are straight against the parallels on there as well. And down here, I've got another little flap, and this one will open up that way. And I've got some images inside there. So what I'm going to do, again, is I'm going to stick those in carefully. Plenty of glue. Maybe your corners are more likely to pop up, so get your corners as well. And stick that in there. Now, when you are doing any research in your sketch pad, you've got to get the visuals down first. There's no point going straight in with annotation. So always think about the visual elements first before you annotate. Now, just like this one over here, I want to create a little flip. So I'm going to take a little bit of this green paper, dab of glue, fold over, so I've got what I can tell what looks like a little tab. And then I'm going to stick that tab under there and on there. So it just conceals it a little bit, makes it look a little bit more uh, effective. So on goes my tab. And you can have various different tabs, you can have various different inserts. These are just some basic ones. I'm going to glue that down on there. And then again, I'm going to place this now over here. Now on the front of here as well, you might want to add a little study, some meditation and so on and so forth. So you've got plenty of space to work with. 